The following is an EWTN special presentation.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Buenas noches. Sean bienvenidos. My name is Father Ed Benioff, and I'm so excited to be with you this evening, this great vigil celebration of the canonization of John Paul II. What a great man he was and is. Amen to that. For the event, we have our great Knights of Columbus and their honor guard here. Thank you, Knights. It is so fitting that the Knights are here because they established the National Shrine to John Paul II in Washington, D.C. So these are great men and their families and their wives. So thank you, Knights. Also, also we want to thank our good friends at EWTN, the Eternal Word Television Network. They, amen. They are broadcasting our celebration live around the world in 144 countries and territories in over 148 million homes. I couldn't believe it when I was reading about that. Perhaps the greatest evangelist ever, St. Paul, would have given his right arm to have this type of influence. So we thank the good people of EWTN for broadcasting our celebration. And finally, I want to thank the good people of the Catholic Communication Collaboration for generously supporting this event. So my brothers, my sisters, we are here this evening to celebrate a great man an absolutely great man. And you know, in our 2,000 year history of our church, there's only been three popes that have had the title great, Leo, Gregory, and Nicholas. And many think someday John Paul will be declared John Paul the Great. I was doing a Google search and I found out there's already a high school in Virginia and a university in San Diego, California that have already given him the title. So they've kind of jumped the gun, but it's okay. John Paul II gets my vote. I would not be here this evening with you as a priest tonight if it wasn't for John Paul II. His leadership motivated me to give my life totally to Jesus Christ. Because me, thank you. He showed me what a real man was, because in our culture, many times we give these false images of what a real man is, what is a masculine, macho, smart, talented man. And John Paul II taught me is a real man is a man of God, a man that prays, and a man that cares for the poor. So, thank you. And history will show he will be called the Great because he had a tremendous sensitivity for the sanctity of human life. Every human life is sacred and precious, regardless of religion, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of creed or belief. Every human life is so sacred. And where did this pope develop this? Unfortunately, he learned this sensitivity through personal tragedy. When he was only eight years old, his mother died. And he went before a statue of Our Lady, and he said, Mary, you now must be my mother. And then later in his teen years, he lost his older brother, who he was so close to. This event crushed him. And then, when he was 21 years old, he lost his father. 21 young, talented, but totally alone in the world. Totally alone. And then, from our study of history, we know in Poland around this time, the Nazis invaded, and they killed people in the streets. They dragged Jewish people, Christians, to the concentration camps. And he realized that human life is so sacred, so valuable. We must defend it. We must promote it at all costs. And then, again, after the war, the communists take over Poland, and they continue the oppression. So John Paul II learned firsthand how fragile, how sacred human life is. 
We need to defend human life from conception until natural death. A great champion of human rights, John Paul II. And to honor his legacy tonight, we will highlight three of his passions in life. First, we know he loved the Blessed Virgin Mary. He dedicated his entire life to Mary. The motto of his whole life was totus tuos, which is Latin for totally yours. And he blessed the church in 2002 by composing the Luminous Mysteries. So tonight, to honor this great man and our own Blessed Mother, we will pray the Luminous Mysteries. And a second passion of John Paul II was he loved the young people. As a priest in Poland, because of all the communist spies, to really teach the young people about God, he would take them up in the mountains where they would ski and they would hike, and then he'd really teach them about our Heavenly Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So to honor his commitment to young people, we're going to have tremendous musical performances with a youthful flavor. And finally, a great passion of John Paul II was the new evangelization. He coined the term, and he called for a new evangelization, because he noticed in Europe and in the Americas that many Catholics were losing their faith. He noticed that society was becoming very materialistic, and people were forgetting about spirituality and God. And he called for a new evangelization with new ardor, new expression, and new methods. And one of the best ways to evangelize is a personal testimony. So this evening, we will have testimonies from men and women that were touched by the life of Pope John Paul II. And one of the greatest new evangelists in our country is actually our own Archbishop, Jose Gomez. That's going to come on up in a second. He wrote in his pastoral letter to us here in Los Angeles in 2012 is, the way people will return to God is not by words or by programs, no matter how eloquent or well-conceived, it is by a living example. When you and I radiate Jesus Christ to the world, we will draw people back to Christ and the church. We have to live like Jesus Christ. We have to radiate His love. And a little plug for my own website, radiate.la, radiate.la, and I invite you to come to this website so we can learn how to radiate the love of Jesus Christ to the whole world, and then we're going to bring people back to church. So without further ado, please help me to welcome our own Archbishop, Jose Gomez. Thank you and good evening to everyone. I also want to welcome all of you to our Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels for this uh, beautiful celebration. Uh, we gather on this beautiful night in, uh, in the Easter season to celebrate the life and legacy of our beloved Pope, blessed, soon to be John Paul II. He was a prophet and, and an apostle of our times. I know that he has touched your hearts and many of you, and for many of you, he has changed your lives. I want to share you, with you, all of you tonight, that uh, uh, Pope John Paul II also touched and changed my life. In 1978, I was a new priest, ordained just three months when he, he was elected Pope. And later on, he called me to be a bishop. And just before he died, he called me to be an archbishop. My whole priesthood was under the uh, papacy of John Paul II. I knew him as a wise priest and a spiritual father. And in my ministry, first as a priest and now as a bishop, I have always looked to him as an example and an inspiration. Quiero darle la bienvenida a todos esta noche para esta celebración eh, en la preparación de la canonización 
del de Papa Juan Pablo II y también el Papa Juan XXIII. Juan Pablo II fue un profeta y un apóstol de nuestro tiempo. Para mí fue un gran ejemplo como sacerdote y un verdadero padre espiritual. Cuando fue elegido Papa en octubre de 1978, yo tenía tres meses de ordenado sacerdote. Después se me nombró Obispo Auxiliar de Denver, Colorado, en, en, en el 2001, y Arzobispo de San Antonio, Texas, en el 2004, solo unos meses antes de su fallecimiento. Sin duda que su vida y su ejemplo nos ha llegado al corazón y ha marcado nuestras vidas. But more than anything, I think, John Paul taught all of us how to live. He loved life, and he lived life to the fullest. He was a poet, and he wrote plays. He was an actor and a philosopher. He loved nature, the outdoors. He loved the arts and culture and history and the life of the mind. John Paul showed all of us the joy of knowing Jesus Christ and the joy of ordinary Christian living. He showed all of us that everything we have is a gift from God and that everything we have can be used for God's glory. By his words and by his example, John Paul showed us all how to make our lives a way of love and a path of holiness. Every day following Jesus Christ, serving our neighbor in love. Every day growing in our relationship with God and our desire to do his will. Juan Pablo II fue nuestro maestro y nuestro guía espiritual. Nos enseñó que todos tenemos una gran dignidad como seres humanos y un bello destino en el plan de Dios. Nos enseñó que estamos hechos para cosas grandes, que fuimos creados para vivir con Dios, que fuimos creados para vivir cada día para el amor y la gloria de Dios, para cumplir uh, gozosamente la voluntad de Dios. So, thanks be to God for his servant, son, our soon to be Saint John Paul II. Damos gracias a Dios por nuestro querido Papa Juan Pablo II, que en unas horas más será San Juan Pablo II. And as we pray this rosary tonight, as we contemplate the mysteries of light, revealed in the public life of Jesus Christ, we know that our saint, John Paul II, prays with us. We know that he walks with us now on our journey as our friend and as our intercessor. San Juan Pablo II camina con nosotros, es nuestro gran amigo, intercede por cada uno de nosotros y nuestras familias. Qué gran alegría que estamos celebrando este fin de semana su canonización. So let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary tonight, tomorrow, this week, always, to help us to follow St. John Paul's teaching and example. Together, let us walk with Jesus our friend and our brother, sharing the light of Christ with everyone and building his kingdom in our world today. Que María Santísima de Guadalupe nos ayude a seguir el ejemplo y las enseñanzas de San Juan Pablo II y que sigamos caminando con Jesús, compartiendo la luz de Cristo con los demás y construyendo el reino de Dios en nuestro mundo. And let us also try to remember those personal memories of uh, our relationship with Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II. We all have uh, different moments in our lives when we were especially moved by him. So let us especially keep him as our, uh, our teacher, our spiritual guide, that he can help us throughout our life to be, as he was, a good and faithful servant. I hope that you have a wonderful evening tonight and tomorrow that we can celebrate uh, the canonization of Pope John Paul II and Pope John XXIII.
bienvenidos y que tengan muy buena vigilia de celebración en, en, en este día en que celebramos la canonización de Juan Pablo II y el Papa Juan XXIII. Que Dios los bendiga. Thank you very much, Archbishop, for those beautiful words. And so now, my brothers and sisters, we are going to start the Rosary, the Luminous Mysteries composed by our own John Paul II in 2002. And Archbishop Jose Gomez will start, and in your program, we have the introductory part of the Rosary. So please follow along. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. He was the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Before we start the first luminous mystery, I'd like to introduce my friend and co-worker, Marianela Camelo, and she will be speaking in Spanish this evening. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of the Lord. In the baptism, Jesus went down those waters and he took on our sin. He took on our death. He took on our suffering. And Danielle Rose, saw the suffering Christ when she went to Calcutta, India. She served the suffering Christ in the streets with Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity. And while serving Christ, she found her mission, and she started her music ministry. Al comenzar este ministerio musical, Daniel decidió enviarle una carta a Juan Pablo II, en donde career, hablaba sobre este ministerio. Recibió una carta del Vaticano invitándola a conocer personalmente a Juan Pablo II. From De él aprendió John Paul II. a tener una gran devoción por el rezo del Santo Rosario y un gran amor por nuestra Santa Madre, la Virgen María. So please welcome Daniel Rose. Is faithfulness, holiness is joy. I am not bound to loneliness when I follow Christ my Lord. Holiness is faithfulness, holiness is joy. I am not bound to loneliness when I follow Christ my Lord. I'm looking Ooh. for my Lord. Take your cross and follow. Must I sacrifice my glory, give it up and you'll be free. Will I die in living shame? Do not fear death, you rise in me. Holiness is faithfulness, holiness is joy. I am not bound to loneliness, but I follow Christ my Lord. I have lost my strength. To your feet, 
Jesus redeemed the world from sin. Oh, holiness is holiness is faith. Holiness is joy. Holiness is joy. Holiness when I follow Christ, my Lord. Holiness is faith. Holiness is joy. Is joy. I'm not bound to loneliness when I follow Christ, my Lord. To summarize in a couple of minutes what it has meant to be able to meet a saint in my life is something impossible really, but soon to be Saint John Paul II, how can I thank you enough for helping me to receive the gift of the Blessed Mother into my life and into my heart? Thank you, Holy Father for helping me to understand the gift of the rosary and the, what that meant to you and how that changed my life and changed the whole world with your love for the Blessed Mother. Thank you, Holy Father. I grew up in a beautiful Catholic family, but the rosary was not something that I really understood until I learned from our Holy Father the beauty of the mysteries and that this prayer was something meant to come alive in each one of our lives. That it wasn't just something we recited and thought about, but actually that when we look through Mary's heart and through her eyes at the life of Christ, when we enter into a living relationship with the Blessed Mother, we begin to understand the intimacy that she has with Jesus. And she doesn't that keep that just for herself. She wants to share that with each one of us so that we actually because begin to start living out those mysteries to live the gospel in our lives and as we pray the rosary as we contemplate the mysteries of the rosary which the holy father reminds us is the compendium of the gospel we begin to become more like jesus as we give ourselves to him through his mother's heart it was shortly after i graduated from college several months later that the holy father gave the luminous mysteries of the rosary on october 16th 2002. i was so excited i jumped up and down for like hours uh, as the whole time the i was printing out the encyclical on the the computer on the most holy rosary reading to go and spend the whole day at the adoration chapel to read the letter and that day i at the end of the letter he said young people take up the rosary once again I thought, how do I let the Holy Father know that we are hearing him, the young people, we, we hear the words he speaks to us, we love him so much, and we're, we're learning so much from him. And so the Lord helped me to compose a song, a mystery, a, a song to, as a meditation for each of the 20 mysteries of the rosary, to be able to help young people, or young of heart, to be able to see that there's so much to this prayer, it's such a deep personal meditation. And since that time, um, the rosary has meant so much, and each time that I pray, it helps me come closer to Jesus, fall more in love with Jesus in the sacraments, and to be able to respond to the will of God as Mary did, to say yes, one day, one minute at a time. In 2004, on January 14th, I was so blessed that God allowed me to be able to present that mysteries album to the Holy Father as a humble little gift to just say to him that we were hearing his message and that we were responding to what he had invited us to, to pray the rosary. And so since that time, as a music missionary, I've tried to teach people about the rosary and, and help them to learn just a little bit of what the Holy Father has taught us. All of us can learn from his example that he was a very busy man and we can all make the excuse that we don't have time to pray because we're so busy. But the Holy Father, soon to be St. John Paul II, he prayed all 20 mysteries of the rosary every day. And that is, I think, how he became a saint because he was conformed to Jesus' heart through Mary's heart every time that he prayed this beautiful prayer. So thank you, Holy Father, for this gift of teaching us what it means to give our lives to Jesus through Mary. And thank you for teaching us the beauty of entering into relationship with Mary. My husband and I are expecting our first baby um, in August. So the baby's six months now. 
And um, it's just the beginning of starting to learn more of what it means of Mary's heart and her love for Jesus, of that love she had for him is something incredible. So this next song is a, a prayer thank, thanking Holy Father, looking through the eyes of Mary at Jesus' life, asking her to teach us how she loved him and how she was faithful to him, that we might follow her example and thus be formed into saints as our Holy Father, soon to be canonized, Saint John Paul II.
the first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. John Paul II, please pray for us that we, like you, may receive and respond fully the call that God has given to each one of us in our baptism. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The baby's so excited that he's jumping the whole time. So excited for St. John Paul II. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Rose. We remind you, you can find today's songs in your booklet so you can join in singing in and also in prayer. Pueden encontrar las canciones que vamos a estar cantando el día de hoy aquí en sus libritos. Eh, también las oraciones. El segundo misterio luminoso es la autorrevelación de Jesucristo en las bodas de Caná. Jesucristo transformó el agua en vino. De la misma manera, transforma nuestras tristezas en alegrías, nuestro dolor en gozo. Él quiere que seamos agentes de cambio y que nosotros también transformemos este mundo. Paulo García ha también podido transformar con su ministry and mission. He is a painter and a designer. Just using a brush and paint, he makes beautiful works of art. Also, he's able to take fabric and make gorgeous vestments. In a few moments, we're going to see the beautiful red vestment he made in 1987 for Pope John Paul II. Very beautiful. And the truth is, Jesus wants to use you and I as his paint and his brush so we can make beautiful art in the world. Tanto Lalo García como Miriam Solís buscan transformar este mundo a través de su arte e irradiarlo con gozo y con amor. His art and Miriam Please Solís welcome through her Miriam song. Solís followed by Lalo García.
de puertas abiertas. Tú eres realmente el más cierto en horas inciertas. La, la, En mi cultura mexicana siempre tenemos un, una frase cuando algo bueno o algo malo nos pasa y siempre por lo general decimos In my Mexican ese culture, me tocó. we say that was my destiny. But I'm convinced that rather than destiny, it is the hand of God who lays out a journey for every single one of us. And if I could name my journey, it would be called Milagro, a miracle. It is almost impossible to believe the many incredible things that had happened to me in the 80s. During that time, I was director, choreographer, and dancer in a folkloric group that won a competition to participate in the 1984 Olympics. At the time, I also worked as an in-house designer for Martinez and Murphy a Los Angeles company that specializes in religious art and sacred environment. In 1987, when we heard of our Holy Father's visit to the United States, a lot of commotion began in the art department. Our excitement grew at the possibility of designing the vestments to be worn by His Holiness Juan Pablo II and the bishops. The art department was asked to develop concepts that would represent the message of the Pope, unity in the work of service. Our idea was to collect pieces of garments from the different ethnic groups in our city. So we asked the various churches to do that for us. Just like Mary at the wedding in Cana, our mother church came into our aid and helped us prepare for this important feast. 
No les puedo expresar la emoción que todos sentimos cuando nos enteramos de que nuestra idea y nuestro concepto había sido aceptada. Everyone in the company, full of joy, doing our part to create works of art worthy of such a blessed occasion. I feel very honored to have worked with an incredible team to create these beautiful vestments that you see before you. They truly represent the mosaic that is the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. One still very vivid memory in my mind is the look on my mother's face as our Pope Juan Pablo II appeared on the main stage wearing these vestments. I can still see the tears running down her cheeks. Looking back, I cannot say that at that point I understood the significance of what I had done. It was only a year later when I returned to my home state in Michoacán in Mexico, I began to see the signs of this miraculous journey God had laid out for me. The ladies in the village would hold my hands and they would say, your hands are holy, they have dressed our Pope. Today, I know that many persons will ask me, what does it feel to have designed vestments for a saint? I confess I'm still not sure or if I will be able to fully explain it. What I do know is that we are all blessed to have lived in a time that a great man lived and that we experience his love and charisma that transformed the world. Just like the water turned into wine by Jesus, to have known a person who has become a saint, it's truly a miracle. Que viva nuestro nuevo santo Juan Pablo II y nuestro nuevo Papa Juan Juan XXIII.
Oremos. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Dios te salve María y llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el bien del fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Gloria al Padre, al Hijo y al Espíritu Santo. Muchas gracias a Lalo García y a Miriam Solís. Thank you to Lalo García and Miriam Solís. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom. As disciples, we are called to preach God's word. And as we do, we will change lives. We will transform all those around us. And that's what John Paul II did his entire life. He transformed people. And that was the case with Denise Wilcox. Gracias a Juan Pablo II, Thanks to Denise Juan Pablo II, Denise learned to have great Jesucristo faith. Mismo no lo dijo. Jesus si Christ said to us that if we have faith as a grain of mus a as a mustard seed, we would tell the mountain to move. Y a la gran Thanks to John Paul familia, II's intercession and Denise's montañas. family, they were able to move to mountains. the kingdom is through music. Kasha Bittner is a very talented musician who this evening is going to sing for us a beautiful Polish hymn. So let's please welcome Kasia Bittner, followed by Denise Wilcox.
John Paul II proclaimed the kingdom of God through his entire life, especially by his passionate support for the protection and sanctity of life. His gospel of life was profoundly moving to me, and when my daughter became pregnant, little did I know I would be face to face with the very culture of death that John Paul II spoke of. Early in her pregnancy, my daughter started to bleed. Her doctor said, just abort the baby. But my daughter and son-in-law decided to leave the baby's fate in God's hands. And God protected their baby until my daughter's water broke at 24 weeks. While the doctor's prognosis for his survival was grim, my daughter managed to stay pregnant until 32 weeks when my grandson was born, but with underdeveloped lungs because of the lack of amniotic fluid. Once again, the doctor said, let him die. It's impossible for him to recover. My daughter and son-in-law once again chose life and had their son airlifted to UCLA. When my grandson was picked up by the helicopter, I started praying to John Paul II. I knew that John Paul II would beseech the Lord to save my grandson. During the helicopter ride to UCLA, his heart stopped and he was revived twice. Further, because of fog, Air traffic control directed the helicopter not to land at UCLA. The helicopter crew and nurse on board, however, knew that this little boy wouldn't stand a chance at life if they landed at any other place. They all decided to risk their lives and land at UCLA anyway. When he arrived at UCLA, my grandson's heart stopped again, 
and he was revived for a third time. As soon as I was able to get to UCLA, I put a prayer card with John Paul's picture inside my grandson's bassinet. The doctors and nurses at the UCLA neonatal intensive care unit worked through the night and coaxed his lungs to start working. His doctor said that my grandson was one of the sickest babies she had seen in 40 years at UCLA, but that he was the only one that had just continuously improved without any setbacks. She emphatically told us, this is a miracle. That prayer card remained with him over the next three months until he was well enough to go home. I know that my grandson is here today thriving because of a miracle from God that resulted from John Paul II's intercession. John Paul II was and is a beacon of light and life. And in case anyone thinks that this was just a series of coincidences, I, have you, I leave you with this last thought. Tomorrow, the day of John Paul II's canonization, is my grandson's birthday. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. Thank you, Caution, Denise. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. In this beautiful mystery, God the Father tells Peter, James, and John to listen to Jesus. 
And we are invited also to listen to Jesus to find out what is God's plan for our lives. And that's exactly what Sister Sean Pauline did. She listened to Jesus. Las primeras palabras the first que el Papa words Juan Pablo II that Pope John Paul II said fueron, when he initiated no his miedo. pontificate, Abran do not be afraid, open the doors Cristo. of your heart, open La them wide. Sean Pauline Sister Sean Pauline suyas. made these Dejó words de hers. Miedo. She is not afraid. She opened her heart One to God. One of the God. best ways to listen to God's voice is through sacred music. John Paul II loved listening to music, and we are so blessed this evening. We have a very faithful Catholic young man, Christopher Nuno, who's been using his musical talent since he was age five. And in just a few moments, he's going to bless us with a very inspirational song. So please welcome Christopher Nuno, followed by Sister Sean Pauline.
Good evening, my name is Sister Sean Pauline, named after Pope John Paul II. I want to share a testimony of how John Paul II influenced my life and my vocation. Be not afraid. The one thing in life that I was most afraid of was having a religious vocation. I remember often at Mass as a teenager hearing this song, Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come follow me. I knew God was calling me, and I was afraid. There was only one voice in the world that kept telling me not to be afraid, and that was the voice of Pope John Paul II. When I attended Franciscan University of Steubenville in the fall of 1998, I was bombarded with images and quotes of John Paul II. I learned phrases like, Coraggio, JP2, we love you and totus to us. It was during this time that I began to understand the greatness 
of John Paul II. I knew the Holy Father loved me personally. And I even found out that we had a lot in common. I loved soccer, I loved hiking, I loved skiing, and I loved drama, just like John Paul II. While I was at college, I also met the Carmelite Sisters of the Most Sacred Heart of Los Angeles, and we became a deep, we had a, a grew in deep friendship. And uh, that friendship slowly began a great deep admiration for them was taking shape in my heart. And one day while I was working at the university dorm as an RA, I read a sign from the Denver World Youth Day that said, we ask ourselves why. Why am I here? Why do I exist? What must I do? Failure to ask these basic questions means renouncing the great adventure of seeking the truth about life. These words led me into a deeper consideration of my vocation. And it wasn't too long before I realized that God was calling me to religious life in Los Angeles, but I was still afraid. One day I went to my mailbox and I had received a letter from one of our Carmelite sisters. And she wrote one sentence that will forever be etched in my memory. Do you realize that you have been privileged to live during the era of our saintly Holy Father? And now you are heeding his oft repeated call to be not afraid. These words cut me to the heart, and it was because of our Pope that I had the strength to overcome the fears that plagued my soul. The only thing that was possible for me to do was to become a Carmelite sister. Before I entered the convent, I had the great privilege to meet John Paul II in a papal audience in 2002. I approached the Holy Father with great peace I looked for a place to kneel, and I landed right between his red shoes. <laughs> then, as I knelt there, I looked into the eyes of Pope John Paul II. It was truly a transfiguration moment. Total peace flooded my soul, and it was as if I had been slain in the spirit. At the end of this encounter, I was unable to even get up because I was numb all over and the guards literally had to help pick me up to keep me walking away. Since then, I sense that the voice of, the, of Pope John Paul II was like the voice of God in our world, the voice that says, this is my begotten son, listen to him. Now, as we reap the benefits of his intercession from heaven, let us pray in this decade of the rosary that each of us would indeed be not afraid to become saints and to listen to Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Thank you, Christopher and Sister Sean Pauline. And at this time, I'd like to acknowledge the beautiful music behind us, the Los Angeles Young Adult Chorale under the leadership of John Flaherty. El quinto misterio luminoso fifth, es la institución de la Eucaristía. The mystery, the A través de este sacramento, of the Eucharist, nos convertimos en un sacramento, solo con nuestro Señor one Jesucristo. With Jesus Christ. Hay un hombre There que se ha convertido en uno con Dios. There is a man that has been one with Jesus Christ. An instrument that God has used to inspire and transform thousands of people. Does not only inspire us, he inspired our own Pope John Paul II. Tony's life is an example of the power of faith and love. Tony teaches us that with Christ, all things, all things are possible. Por favor, demos la bienvenida Please welcome a Tony Melendez. Tony Melendez. Definitely a true blessing to be here on this vigil night of a Pope that was so beautiful. I will truly never forget him. Here's the song that I sang for him that day. Come. 
Tony, Tony you are, you are good. Uh, Tony, you Cora are just young man, courageous young man. You are giving hope to all of us. And my wish to you is to continue of giving this hope to all, all the people. What can I say about a man that had a charisma that was amazing? A man that uh, would get off the airplane and kiss the ground. A man that somehow would play with kids in a way that they understood and loved. I will never, I will never forget him. When he kissed me, it changed my life. Just to let you know, for those that don't know, how many places I have been because of that moment. I have now been to 44 countries. His kiss somehow gave me hope, not just me, but others, and around the world, how they loved him. I got to say goodbye to him on those brand new billboards, the Latin Billboard Awards, 2005. by singing him this song, a song in Spanish. Que difícil aceptarlo, amigo, te ha llorado tanto corazón. De rodillas sin cansarte vimos que luchaste siempre con amor. En tu partida se sintió que ya no sales más a tu balcón en el mundo quedará esta lección no tengas miedo miren al cielo no tengas miedo siempre en la fe Juan Pablo el grande Sonriente, pastor valiente, pastor viajero de la fe. At one of the World Youth Days, I remember being in the Philippines. One of the biggest masses ever, liturgies. Pope John Paul and people that loved him, the young people came from around the world. And these World Youth Days have continued. Can you imagine how many people have gone to communion since that time? How powerful that was. He left, he left us a phrase, something to remember. No tengas miedo. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to share your faith.
I love him very much. I feel so blessed to have known him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor está contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Zdrowaś Mario, łaski śpełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławion owo w żywota Twojego Jezus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with Thee. Blessed art Thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Zdrowaś Mario, łaskiś pełna Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławion owo w żywota Twojego Jezus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
Dear young friends, I think that you already know, without my saying it, how happy I am to be with you today. I pray that your faith in Christ will always be lively and strong. This way, you will always be ready to tell others the reason for your hope. You will be messengers of hope for the others, for the world. I would like to invite each of you to listen carefully to God's voice in your heart. Every human person is called to communion with God. That is why the Lord made us to know him and love him and serve him and in doing this to find the secret to lasting joy. Be assured that the Lord now, each of you, by name, and wishes to speak to your heart in a dialogue of love and salvation. Dear young people of America, what I wish to you, Listen to his voice. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Open your hearts, open up your hearts to Christ. The deepest joy there is in life is the joy that comes from God and is found in Jesus Christ the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is the hope of yours, is my hope, he is the hope of the world.
please remain standing for the presentation of the Eucharist. This has been an EWTN special presentation. We now return to our regularly scheduled program.